This year marks 50 years since the end of the Vietnam War. People in Jacksonville took the time to recognize the sacrifice that men and women made for our country's freedom. WNCT's Camilla Barco spoke to one man who recalls his days in service. And it brings back memories and it's, it's, it's a little bit emotional for me. The fight for freedom is engraved in Michael Carr's head. In fact, I have, I have two, two friends that are on this wall. A glass wall filled with names of the fallen circles the Jacksonville community. I lived it. I was there. I walked the walk. <laughs> a lot of us did. The Vietnam era veteran served 10 years and made four tours in Vietnam. We stayed at, at sea anywhere from 30 to 60 days with no paymasters and we didn't, couldn't get paid and of course it was just, we were just floating island. And Saturday morning, vets and strangers came together to pay homage to their brothers and sisters. Welcome home, brothers and sisters. Thank you. The Vietnam Veterans of America are honoring the men and women who served active duty during the Vietnam era. We come together to, you know, thank our Vietnam veterans for everything that they did and uh, show them that we haven't forgot about them. Joseph Four from the advocacy group Rolling Thunder emphasizes of those who were at the front line. A lot of things that we have now that maybe some folks take for granted are because of the sacrifices the Vietnam vets made. It's also time to remember those who never returned home or were never accounted for. United States Navy. The name of 38 North Carolinians who were prisoners of war or missing in action were echoed through the Lejeune Memorial Gardens. And there are a lot of POWs and MIAs that are still missing from not only the Vietnam War, but all the way back to World War I as well. A reminder of the cost of freedom. I'd do it again. In Jacksonville, Camila Barco, 9 on your side.